what is going on everybody and we are back one more time with the last door now the last episode i apologize for that i had a little bit of technical difficulties going on i hope you were able to decipher what happened um but in a nutshell we have the music box we also have the mirror the log the coin and the teardrop um outside if you look outside this window right here we do have the net that we used to grab the teardrop as it came through um and the teardrop was in the in the bathroom underneath the uh in the water um, so we got that and we went back and, and uh, which I thought was really cool. Um, we have the, um, uh, well, you know what, let's just cut to the cut scene and then I'll get back with you and I'll let you know what's going on. All right, and we are back. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Now, like I was saying, I do have the teardrop and um, if I, um, I did some reading and some research on it and I think that the teardrop actually has to go down to the uh, Virgin Mary statue. So we're gonna make our way down the stairs. And then from here, we're gonna head over into the room over here. Now, once we enter in this room, there's gonna be a Virgin Mary statue all the way down to the end here. We're gonna keep on going, 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 keep on going. And at this statue, we're gonna have to stop freezing. Whoa, I just teleported, okay. So right here. The gloomy statue of the Virgin Mary makes the place even more mournful than that, if that is possible. All right, and then we're gonna take the teardrop and place the teardrop. Oh. Place the teardrop on the Virgin Mary. And place the glass tear in the hollow of the Virgin Mary. Okay, so um, from there. I'm sorry if that was too loud for you guys. I actually uh, I forgot about the volume issue that I had going on. Um, basically, what was going on was that the uh, I found out that I needed actually to get the take the mirror and shine the mirror onto the um, onto the the statue's face, basically, um, to make the nun think that um, to make the nun think that it was a. Uh, um, crying and then i and then she ran away i went well walked up to him and he needed morphine so now here i am upstairs getting the morphine
All right, so now we're going to go back downstairs. And it's really weird. I mean, I got to get to figure this, this volume thing out because the volume on my end has to be really, really, really low. Um, but for you guys, it seems louder. And, and it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. Okay, so there's the, well, what's going on with that wood though? There's this guy over here. So maybe I can, maybe he has something that I can use to open up. The, hmm. I guess that worked. <laughs> All right, now um, let's go try and use this on that. See if that'll work. What? Oh, that's the lady from the beginning. Oh, I wonder if I can go back now and actually go through that side door. I don't know what that had to do with anything, but let's just see. It might if I it might just work. Cause she's lost she's left her spot now. And so by her leaving her spot, yes. Oh. A large bright and ornate key. Hey, what's this key? I wonder that key open the door. There we go. Don't look into his eyes. What does that mean? Because the deepest darkness dwells in his eyes. Come in, my son. Do you think you could... Did you think you could hide these books from me? They are just classic philosophy books, Father. Plato and Aristotle. Silence, instruments of falsehood, you mean. Fallacies coming from the snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Okay. That was weird. All right. Oh. 
up a bird. Whoa. What does that mean? There you go. Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest? Ernest, there have been many years since I last heard that name. Since, oh, I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. What? Please, entreaties, a place, I don't know what that is. Praying, torment, exemption, past times bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say? It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinances and disciplines. Get closer, son. Come pray next to me. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now, and shall, and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one his voice, what? Tell the Lord which one is his voice. Sharp sword, the last pearl, or the delicate pearl. The last pearl. Oh, jeez. Oh, Lord, which, is, which one is this holy palace? Why is virtue and his blame of the blessed? Uh, uh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm doing horrible. What? I guess I gotta do something in there, so.
What am I supposed to do? Oh, jeez. All right. So this is probably going to take me a while. So I'll get back with you guys once I'm done. All right. So I am back and I got the razor. Um, what I have to do now is go upstairs and there is a tapestry upstairs. Now, what I need to do is I need to take this razor and use the razor to actually cut the tapestry. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Man. I mean, I don't know what we're supposed to do now, but... I mean, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Come in. Oh, I am so retarded. Okay. So, no, I'm not going to drag down the show game tools. I remember this is the bed where I used to sleep when I was a student here. Now I'm going to go to sleep. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through a forest in a warm spring afternoon. When going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mr. Snake. We're having a heated argument. Man, let's go through this creepy red door. Mr. Rabbit curiously asked him, Dearest, why are you why are you arguing in this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? Springful? <laughs> Mr. Wolf answered politely, We are trying to decide here who of us will be have the pleasure of eating you up. Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, But I don't want to be eaten. I want to live. Is that blood on the floor? To which Mr. Snake answered, smiling, That's impossible to have, Mr. Rabbit, since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later. Don't you think so? Mr. Vulture added, Mr. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It's getting late, and as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as the one to eat you? It's actually an interesting story. After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with, with an idea and carefully said, I got it. Why not to organize a race? 
the first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and, and avoid any obstacle. And I'm sure that Mr. Snake knows all the shortcuts in the forest. What, what, what do you think? The three predators agreed that it was fair, so they started the race and qu then quickly disappeared. Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick him, started running high speed in the opposite direction of the predators who, were, who eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. Mr. Rabbit was far away from there and he felt, and he finally felt safe. Happy and proud of his cunning, but suddenly there was a loud bang. Then the earth shook, frightened birds flew away, and everything went dark. The end. Whoa, what the heck? I don't know what happened, but my phone just stopped recording, but I got it back on as quick as possible. Oh, yeah, that was weird. Well, you're about as confused as I am right now. I don't know where that came from. But apparently I woke back up again. Okay. Yeah, exactly. What was that all about? Hmm. There's a trap door on the floor or something? Or, uh... I don't know. I'm gonna figure this out. Give me a second. Okay, so I figured out what I needed to do now. So this is what happens. Um, we're gonna go out of here. And I actually need to go down. What is this? Is this a door? Have I been through here? Oh, I have. Yeah, this is a shower. Okay, so I gotta go to the classroom. The classroom is downstairs. Um, and then there's a trap door. But I haven't read anything else since then because I wanted to keep things fresh. Alright, so we're gonna go down into the classroom. Uh, is this way? That guy is still here. No, he's not. Is he outside still? Alright, so we're gonna head down to the end of this hallway. Well, walkway, I should say. And then there was this rug. And my disturbing nightmare was brought to this spot. It's a trap door, so I'm a nightmare. From here sprouts a horrible stage. There is something down there. Let's go! Whoa! What the hell? Oh, that's 
That's the yeah. Rest in peace. Chief and a lot. Merciful. Okay. Jeez. What the heck? Even after all these years, I have not forgotten your voice. You are the four witness. I remember, I remember. Now what happened? What is that we saw? The eye of the bird, the malum in the sea. What happened to us? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me, you must make you understand what my mind can't fathom. It was our curiosity that damned us. We opened that which we should not be wait what wait we open that which should not be open in doing so we shorn the veil that separated our world from him and seeking vision we were ourselves seen by the eye of the bird it remembers us it looks for us it calls us from its dark nest from its abominable lair all these years i have attempted to return it return to it but i have no strength left these poor wretched creatures are too fragile they lack the, the sight to return not one of them has only us, the four witnesses. Who are the other two? Where are they? They disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of them, from any of you, but it was seized by curiosity. It absconded with my faith and deprived me of sanity. Oh Lord, forgive me for I have sinned. Nothing remains. All that is left to surrender. I surrender to him greatly. We have sinned. And our only uh, solution is to burn, to burn in the flames. Mm. See. What? what? 